Pull-ups are one of the coolest, one of the sexiest exercises out there with a ton of amazing benefits. And maybe you want people to do pull-ups, but you can't. In this podcast, we're going to outline the top four reasons, the top four things that may be holding you back in your pull-up journey, and we'll lay out some solutions so you can get to doing that elusive first pull-up. Stick around. Welcome to the CrossFit Edwardsville Community Podcast where we hear and learn from our coaches, CrossFitters, and Glen Ed community leaders. Now, here are your hosts, Dallas and Greg. What is up, party people? It is Coach G with the CrossFit Edgel Community Podcast. On this podcast, we meet and learn from our CFE coaches, meet and learn about our CFE CrossFitters, occasionally meet and learn about Glen Ed area businesses and the founders behind them. I'm Coach G, Greg Skelly from CrossFit Edwardsville, one of the coaching team here at CFE. And today we're talking about pull-ups, one of the greatest, like, one of the amazing exercises that gives a ton of benefits in terms of how you look, how you feel, how you perform. And it's well known that here in CrossFit, like we embrace a lot of the kinds of pull-ups. We're kind of famous for it in CrossFit world. You got your standard strict double overhand pull-up, double underhand chin up. And then we have all these advanced variations of pull-ups, including kipping pull-ups, butterfly pull-ups, chest to bar pull-ups. And they're all great. They help to build the muscle along your lats so you get that attractive v shape that so many people like to have it's a very athletic physique and figure you add muscle to your biceps muscle to your forearms it just it helps transform how you look and it's just it's a practical strength thing to have you able to jump and pull yourself over an object over a fence over something you want to get over it's it can be a very practical life activity and it just feels it feels amazing to be able to do them. They're fun to do. It's really empowering, not just for guys, but especially for women to be able to do pull-ups. And it's one of those exercises that a lot of people come to CrossFit and they're like, I really wish that I could do that exercise, but I never could, and I'm not sure how to get there. So in this podcast, we'll outline four things, four reasons that you can't do a pull-up yet, and then what to do about it. So We'll jump right into it. Reason number one, you don't work on them enough. Many, many people that don't have pull-ups also do nothing about it. The people that I've seen that go from zero pull-ups to doing multiple, typically speaking, they put real time and effort and energy on developing that strength and that skill. At a minimum, I'd say if you have no pull-ups, and you want to get pull-ups, you should be working on them at least twice a week, maybe even three times a week. That might look like as part of a CrossFit Metcon where you're doing a workout that has pull-ups and thrusters, and you're doing a scaled or modified variation of pull-ups that helps you build the strength you need to get to pull-ups. Or maybe it's after a after the meat and potatoes of your workout, you've done your strength work, you've done your conditioning, now it's class is done and you stick around and do a little extra stuff to build your pull-up capacity. I've seen that exact approach be a real game changer for a lot of people. And if you want you want pull-ups, but you're only working on them sporadically every once in a while, which if you're not good at a thing, it is very easy to go to the gym and avoid that thing. That's a very common psychological thing people going to the gym and just doing the things that they are already good at it makes it's you know inherently rewarding it's validating to go in there and have people around there seeing you do stuff you're good at if you're not good at pull-ups it's really easy to do nothing about it and stay away from it but you'll never get pull-ups if you never embrace the work embrace the journey to do the things it takes to get to pull-ups you'll never get there so that is reason number one, that maybe you don't have pull-ups yet. Number two, maybe you're carrying too much weight. It is no secret, no surprise that your body composition does directly impact your ability to do pull-ups. You're pulling your whole body up against gravity, and the more gravity you have, the harder it is to do pull-ups. Body recomposition, cutting body fat so you're not carrying unnecessary added weight is one of the things you can do to make pull-ups easier or make them more possible 
for you. And there's no secret here. That comes down to having the right healthy eating protocol so that your body is given a reason to recompose, to have muscle and cut body fat, which is the change that most people want when they come to any exercise program, including CrossFit. They want to have, they want to subtract fat from here. They want to add muscle here, or they want to subtract fat and then just make the muscle they have on their frame visible to see the muscle. I want people to see my muscle tone and definition here. That body recomposition, subtracting fat, having or adding muscle, that change definitively does make pull-ups easier as you go. That's reason number two. Maybe you're carrying too much weight and cutting body fat, changing your body composition could be one of the most direct ways of improving your pull-up capacity. Number three, you think it's an impossible or unattainable goal. And this could be true for anybody, but I'm going to most speak to the women of the audience here. It is pull-ups and chin-ups are not a boy exercise. You can do them too. I think that for the women of our CrossFit community, the ability to do pull-ups is one of the things that they're the most proud of, and they should be very proud of it because they can do it and so many women cannot. And I want to make sure that I set the, the proper expectation, the proper mental standard for our audience here. Women can do pull-ups. They absolutely can. It is not a boy exercise. It is a possible and achievable thing for women. It is true that women typically have less upper body strength than guys and more lower body strength than guys, but that should not be the deciding factor in the equation because women can learn, can do strict pull-ups, strict chin-ups, butterfly pull-ups. We have plenty of women in our CrossFit community that can do various versions and a lot of really cool versions of pull-ups. And that for them is something they're very, very proud of and should be. But I just want to be sure that our audience here does not think, yeah, just because you're a woman, just because you're so-and-so age does not mean you cannot get and learn and develop the ability to do pull-ups. It is possible for you. So if you have that limiting belief in you now, go ahead and get rid of it because it's just holding you back. It's not helping you in this journey. Number four, reason number four, and to do a quick recap on the first three, number one, you don't work on them enough. Number two, maybe you're carrying too much extra body fat or weight. Number three, you think it's an impossible goal. Or number four, you don't have a, a plan or a roadmap. Here's what I mean. A lot of people have no idea what it takes to get that first pull-up. They don't know, all right, from my ability right here, right now, what do I do? Like, okay, I understand I have to work on it more. I need to put in two, maybe three specific training sessions each week to get to doing pull-ups. What does that look like for me? How do I do that? That's where having a coach can be really, really helpful because the coach is the one that can connect the dots and lay out that roadmap. You are here right now. You want to get to where you can do a single unassisted pull-up without a band, without leg assistance, fill in the blank. Or you want to get to where you can do several kipping pull-ups, even butterfly pull-ups. What is the path to get there? What are the steps? What do each of those training sessions each week look like? And that is where it's really helpful to have a coach. Our coaching staff here at CFE is amazing with this sort of thing. And private coaching would be a great avenue if you wanted to have that specific deep dive into having a coach take you through the paces. What do you have to do on Monday to get pull-ups? What do you have to do on Wednesday to get pull-ups? Or if private coaching is out of reach for whatever reason, maybe you could just hire a coach to actually write out the protocol and send you demonstration videos. Okay, start with... 10 reps and three sets of this exercise. And then once you're, once that becomes easy for you, graduate into three sets of 10 reps with this exercise. And here's your structured, intelligent progression. Any of our coaching team at CFE can give you this prescription, this protocol. Many of us, myself included, have attended the CrossFit gymnastics course or also known now no, now as the gymnastics course, we've had Chuck Bennington, Vanessa Bennington, Sol Sean, Sean Velas, many other, Carl Paoli. We've had many 
famous body weight exercise thought leaders and coaches come to our gym and teach us their preferred progressions on all of these things. And so we have that knowledge base and we'd be excited to share it with you. So if, if having, if you don't know what that roadmap looks like, if you don't know what the plan is, the progression, how do you get from A to B to C to D to E where E is unassisted body weight pull-ups, reach out to any of our coaching staff and talk to them. Hey, can you write me a personal progression or a prescription? Could you work with me in private coaching? What should I do after class in order to augment or what ancillary auxiliary exercise should I do in addition to the meat and potatoes of the CrossFit program to get to a pull-up? Talk to your coach about that. They have the information. They'd be happy to help. So to recap, finally, things that might be holding you back from getting a pull-up. Number one, you don't work on them enough. Number two, carrying too much extra body weight. Number three, you think it's an impossible goal. Number four, you don't have a plan or a roadmap for getting there. If you want to learn more, if you're not a part of our CrossFit community right now, by the way, here's a good starting point for you. Google CrossFit and Brazil, we are Google reviews. We have a thousand of them. We are Facebook reviews. You know, check out us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Instagram is one of our most active platforms, by the way. A lot of cool photos and videos and features and profiles there. Check that out. When you're ready, visit CrossFitEdwardsville.com, book a no-sweat conversation, phone call with a coach so they can call you directly, answer whatever questions you have, and chart out what does your unique fitness journey look like. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today's podcast. We thank you for joining us. We hope you have yourselves an amazing, beautiful, and blessed rest of your day. We'll see you in the next episode. Peace.